Rio de Janeiro, Brazil is full of adventures, but some of them cost both time and quite a bit of money. This is 5 practically free things to do in one day. I know, last video got a little dark and heavy, so this time we'll keep it fun and easy. I give you 5 super cheap attractions in Rio that most tourists miss. Warning, some of these might be healthy. Well, you know, after all, Rio is more than just caipirinha, samba and party, right? But perhaps not do them all in one day, that'll get a little hectic. <laughs> The first one will be both wet and wild. Here is something I didn't find out until months in the city. Rio is packed with hidden jungle lakes. And we're off to new adventures, this time to check out a famous waterfall right in Rio. Well, honestly, it's only famous among the initiated. Cachoeira do Amor, the waterfall of love, is truly one of the secret gems of Rio. It's found in the hills about 15 kilometers northwest of Ipanema. And this taxi ride took about 40 minutes and cost six dollars. That's Brazil. <laughs> You'll be walking a little for this one. So what kind of shoes to bring? Well, we're getting to that. So this is kind of a secret waterfall, don't expect the taxi drivers to actually know where it is or anyone else, just put the exact address in there, Cachoeira do Amor. Reaching the river won't take long. Oh. Wow, it really was right here. Now starts the trickier part, finding the optimal waterfall spot. Tip, skip your fancy footwear, choose something you can easily remove when it gets wet. So wearing shoes, not the best idea. It's not just fun and games here. This waterfall is also a place of remembrance and reflection. So show respect. Not least respect for those slippery stones. My recommendation, bring a proper backpack so you can move around freely. You don't want to stumble and fall or dropping things from your bag. After hiking for 6-7 minutes, you'll end up at this place. If you're not the adventurous type, it's a good enough place to stop. But we are pushing forward. Nice and fresh, about 15 degrees or so. I did not prepare for this hike. If I knew I was in for a rainforest adventure, I'd packed some other gear. So, this was a little more trick than I bargained for. <laughs> It's gonna be easy, she said. Don't worry, bring your flip-flops. I've never felt more like a clumsy city boy than now. No hospitals around, so be careful. Yeah, perhaps not bring your 85-year-old grandpa for this hike, if you want him to make it back. One more time. More reason to be careful. Most phones will have bad reception. So this is a nice sunny day. I'm just thinking, don't do this when it's been raining. It will be deadly slippery. Oh yeah, now it's starting to look like a jungle waterfall for real. You could stop here, I mean, it's really good enough. But apparently it's getting even better. Luckily, finding your way is not hard. You just kind of follow that water. Rainforest walk continues. We have now been walking for about 20 minutes, but in all honesty, I have been slowing us down pretty bad. This just never ends! I'm just glad I have a local guide leading me. Pretty sure I wouldn't have done this on my own. So all we have to do now is to uh, somehow get down here. Taking the fastest way down? Not recommended. Hold on, you're almost at the finish line. And then a little jungle adventure, yes. The things you do for your own private waterfall. I think we're actually here. Hoppa! Vamos! 
welcome to a place very few tourists have set foot. Quite the current! So good! Having this place all for yourself in a city like Rio, it feels unreal. You don't even have to fake the Instagram photos here. That's a waterfall! <laughs> but don't go drowning in that waterfall, no one will save you. This really stands out as one of my coolest Rio experiences. Obrigado. A visit here should be on the top 10 list for everyone coming to Rio. But don't do this alone. Make sure you're at least two people because you don't want to be stuck here having an emergency on your own. And leave before it gets dark, obviously. Now, time to enjoy the nature of Rio just a little more. And no, we're not going to the beach for caipirinhas yet. For once, it's time to be a little healthy. Because not surprisingly, this beautiful city is also world known for its incredible trekking. And since I'm lazy, we're gonna start with the easiest one. And where is this trilha? Well, it's pretty much on top of the mountain there. Easiest and the safest. And that's the trilha girl. This is the expert company that's gonna help us survive this very easy trilha. And obviously she prepared a little better for climbing a mountain than I did. But to be fair, I was robbed of a lot of my clubs. If you haven't figured it out, Trilha is Portuguese for trek. But before climbing this big old scary mountain, some refreshments. Okay. <laughs> so, where does this thing start? No, see, no. <laughs> She's asking if I know where the entrance is, and truthfully, no. But it should be just on the left side of the foot of the hill. Yep, right there. Ha! Huh, there it was! The real name for this trail is Trilha do Forte do Leme, because it's in Leme, with an old fort on top of the hill. Difficulty? Easy. So according to the rumors, there will be crazy monkeys here. Also famous for rubbing people of phones and candy. Você está com medo? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. These little fellas won't hurt a fly. I mean, not even if they wanted to. They are so small. There's another one. Hello, little boy. I'm gonna eat ya. Meeting monkeys is half of the deal with this trail, so I was a little worried they wouldn't show up. Relax. They'll be here. Eles são fofos, não? São lindos! <risos> Macaquinhos ou sagui? Qual é o nome deles? Esses macaquinhos. É sua primeira encontro com eles? Não, esses eu já vi. Oh, they're all over Brazil, these little critters. I'm not particularly afraid of humans. No, they're pretty used to this. Obrigado. Don't forget the water. We're now about 10 minutes into this trail. But it will feel like longer. This one goes pretty steep uphill. So apparently Jesus was here before us. It's a holy trail. And yes, it really does feel special. You're literally just minutes from bustling Leme in Copacabana, but surrounded by nature and totally sealed off from the traffic noise. Could this be the finish line? It's a bit embarrassing you're feeling this proud after finishing a 20-minute trek, but it really feels like you've reached the top of a mountain. The view from up here looks almost computer-generated. And it gets better. If this ain't pretty, I don't know what pretty is. Yes, that looks promising indeed. By the way, did I mention all this is free? Chega. The upper level of the viewpoint gives full visual access to Copacabana Beach and the surrounding landscape. If this is your first visit to Rio, be warned, chances are you will fall madly in love. I've spent more than a year in this city, but this view still takes my breath away. City of God. The other end of the platform offers a similar view of what you get from atop of that sugarloaf mountain. 
without having to stand in any queues or paying $30 for that ride up. Or perhaps an even better view since you actually see the Sugarloaf Mountain as well. It's hard finding a reason not to do this little lemme trek. So is this worth a trek of 20 minutes? I'd say definitely. Você gosta, não? Sim. É feito para 20 minutos. See, this just to say a little warm up for your visit to the beach. Yes, it's beach time. Trilha do Forte do Leme, three gringos out of five. Huh, hanging out at Ipanema Beach, that's very original. Relax, this will all be put into context soon. Opa! Não é pra mim, não é não bebo, não drink. So what she wants to say is she's been alcohol free for four months? Cinco meses. Impossible. Impossible, sim. So, about coconuts, I'm not saying Brazilians don't love agua de coco, but these goodies do make excellent props for photos. Even I can't resist getting an Instagram update. So, let's get to the point. Don't take a taxi to the beach, rent a bike. There is simply no better way to arrive at the beach. Not only is it dirt cheap, you will most likely also reach your destination way faster than any other mode of transport. Just download the app for your phone and go find one. They are all over the Copacabana and Ipanema area. Let's take this one for a ride. I'm gonna sound like I've never sat on a saddle before, but riding a bike along the shores of Rio de Janeiro a sunny day watching all the beautiful people passing by, it's pure joy. And here's an insider tip. On Sundays, cars are only allowed to travel in one lane and the road opens up for pedestrians and bikes. That's the perfect day to go for a trip on two wheels. And we actually have a destination in mind for this little ride. When people in Rio want to build up some sweat while laying their eyes on something nice, this is where they're going. Lagoa, or simply the lake. This is the perfect getaway from all the buzz, the traffic and the hordes of beach vendors. And it's literally just next to Ipanema Beach. Now this is a bike ride I can really recommend. Doesn't feel like you're inside the city anymore. Five minutes from Ipanema. A whole lap around this natural lake is about 8 kilometers. And along the way you will once again be reminded why this is the most beautiful city in the world. There will be a few stalls along the way selling drinks and snacks as well. Now that's a perfect little excursion. Alright, I think we're ready for some culture. Santa Teresa might be familiar from my previous videos under different circumstances. But it's actually more famous for this one. To arrive at this bohemian headquarters in style, you first gotta go to the tram station. Let's do this. Yeah. This tram line used to be essential for people living in the hills, but is now preserved for tourism. Oopsie, seems I'm not the only one who got the same idea. Bom dia. Obrigado. And I gotta say, I hope the tram was a bit more efficient back in the days. A lot of people want to ride these things, and there are not nearly enough carts to feed the need. Waiting time can be brutal. If you're impatient like me, it might actually be a better idea just taking an Uber to Santa Teresa first, and catching the tram over there. It's pretty darn cool arriving by car as well. <laughs> we beat you to the finish line, suckers. Yes, that was considerably easier. Ah, uh, isn't that a sight for weary eyes? And just look how nice and peaceful it is. Nothing like I remembered it from Carnival some months back. This is where a lot of the action takes place. It's uh, quite a bit more calm today. So, what's the deal with the Santa Teresa neighborhood? Well, to start with, it's got some really cozy restaurants and bars. It's got that laid-back artsy vibe. And it's considerably safer than Rio's other historical areas. Not to mention the location on top of the hills make for great views. And yeah, the tram. You can jump on at any of these signs. And hope the tram will stop. 
But I gotta be honest here, my thirst for that tram ride has faded, and another thirst has grown bigger. Opa! A caipirinha here feels way different than at the beach. Think Paris meets Berlin. <laughs> well, time flies when you're having fun, and now it's about time to catch that sunset. From the locals' own favorite location, Moreta da Urca. And yes, the sunset has already started. Muito obrigado, amigo. So, there's a reason they're calling this Rio's best sunset spot. Moreta translates to low wall, and that's basically what this is. People gather by the water for a chat and a cold drink, watching that sun go down. Just one thing missing to make this sunset even more spectacular. Hey, there you go. Moreta da Urca is all about the simple pleasures of life. This is really all it is. A drink, some music, and a friendly conversation with whoever sits next to you. Don't miss taking a little stroll as well. It actually continues around the corner. I have an expert here who's gonna show us what hides around the corner. I need to be going. <laughs> Her name is Priscilla and she's a little shy. In daylight, this is not one of Rio's most attractive beaches. But it does showcase a nice sunset. I can think of many worse ways to end a day in the city of God. And that's all for this time. Next up, we're putting the other gringos up against the wall, forcing them to share all secrets and lessons they've learned about Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Be prepared for a lot of love, some hard truths, and a few surprises. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching and be safe.